It is once again time for Geo only. And if we take a look, we can see that Lantern Rite is here. Not only that, but both off camera and on some streams, I went through collecting, I believe, everything we need to ascend all the characters we have and maybe level up talents as well. So to start out, let's ascend Lumine up. Then we can also bring Yunjin and Noel as well. I really didn't intend for that to rhyme. I expect nothing from these acquaint fates, but we'll see what we get. And also, how much leveling could... Ooh, are we gonna have enough? Let's prioritize Yunjin Noel, because I think the Traveler will be the first character we swap out if we get another new one. So, uh, both of those two are maxed out. And could I max the Traveler? I did. Yes, I could. And you know what? We're gonna do it. So, leveling and ascensions are done until I believe AR 50. Yup. Which leaves weapons, which pretty much are maxed except for harbinger of dawn again i did farm everything i needed then we'll max that out because why not so all that leaves are the talent levels now believe it or not i did actually farm those obviously we can't fully max them here but leveling up navia's skill two times to level eight which is the highest we can bring it right now is not bad at all it is also a new week so we can farm all the weekly bosses again it has been so hard saving all those materials for when i record because i've just wanted to upgrade these characters for a while now but i'd say it was very much worth it because it was so satisfying to see all those upgrades i can't believe i just missed four crits in a row on my elemental skill I mean, 55, it's not a great crit rate, but it is better than a coin flip. And I somehow lost that four times in a row. But I guess, oh, wait, five times. So I guess it wouldn't be a Java the Cup video without getting very unlucky with something. Oh, and only one drop. Bursts are always very good to level up, at least with most characters. But because Navia is our main DPS on this account and by far does way more damage than anyone else, we're going to level up the normal attack first. Or I guess second, because... We we did the skill first. Regarding the rest of the talents, we can't do too much, but we can level up Yunjin's burst ones. Then we can also go ahead and... What's best? Normally, you'd probably want to level her burst first, but because she's here primarily for the shield, I think that the shield might actually be the better i'm just gonna do the burst oh but oh i need helicho masks that's okay i farmed up a bunch of them so we, we can use some before we do get to the lantern reed stuff i do want to spend our resin and navia's talent domain is open today so i think that's a pretty good place to spend it number one number two number three number four and number five. Oh wait i could do one more number six with a bit of crafting we can bring that up to only 11 because Layla didn't feel like doing anything. So I guess next week, because we have to wait for these drops, we can probably go ahead and max level Navia's burst. And with just a tiny bit more farming, we could probably max the normal attack as well. Now we just need to do our daily commissions, which I think we're even going to get a free achievement from because this is the third day in a row that I've gotten this guy's quest. Then of course, it will be time to begin the grind of Lantern Reed, which actually reminds me we need to do our acquaint fates because if we get a Ning Wong for from our quaint fates, we might pick Yunjin C1 over Ningwang C1, but I would have to reread what those even do. We are getting a purple. Is it Geo? No. It is once again Yunjin's kind of signature weapon that doesn't really synergize with her kid at all. Actually, yeah, four-star weapons would not be bad for us to get. Like a Favonius Lance for Yunjin would be so nice. I guess she already has one ER weapon, but you know, Favonius Lance is just better. Last one. Can we at least see purple? No. Fun fact, standard banner is at 69 pity right now, which means we're getting kind of close to our first five star oh wait no that's a bad thing i mean like it's not a, a bad thing to get a five star it's thank you for that it's a bad thing because there is no geo five star character so we really have to hope for a weapon would a wolf's gravestone actually be better for navia because then we would lose out on the er i think overall it still would be an upgrade though especially since we're not exactly hurting for geo particles though yeah honestly any five star weapon would be the best case scenario so i guess it looks like we will be choosing ning wang one once we get to choose our free four star from Lantern Reed. And also, do we get our free achievement here? We do. Very nice five primos. That is all of the daily commissions complete for now. You see, daily reset is in about two hours, so I'm gonna have to do them again very soon. Also, 
I always love how decorated this place is during Lantern Rite. Oh, oh, it's daytime. I guess I should also then point out that I like the way it looks at night a lot more than during the day. So apparently, whoever flies their kite the highest gets a special prize. I am so excited to get 20 primos. And would you look at that? Daily commissions are back again. Also, I did save this just so I could show you guys. We hit AR44 and we're not that far away from 45. And by not that far away, I mean we're like 25% of the way there. While we have just a bit of resin, I figure we'll go challenge Senora and see how that goes. So far, so good. I don't think we're gonna take her out before she does the pyronado because she's gonna do it right now. But we're getting there. Eventually, we will be able to. Oh my gosh, stop teleporting. Oh, achievement. And unfortunately, only one drop. Something tells me that I'm not gonna be able to level up a talent here because of the masks. But let's just hope that I'm wrong. Oh, I am wrong. We can indeed go ahead and level up her burst to level 8. But with all of that stuff out of the way, we can get ourselves back to Lantern Reed. Alright, here's the actual event. Let's see how many days we have to wait before we get to choose our 4 star. We need to get 800 points. The cap is 1200 points. And since there are 4 different things that are time gated, I will assume that we need to get 3 fourths of the way there because that would be 800. So in one more day, we can probably get our ourselves in Ningguang. It's been about a day or two since the last recording. I think in a stream we went ahead and upgraded Yunjin's talents as much as we can for now because weekly boss drops are gonna be a bit of a bottleneck. However, I do believe it is possible for us to get our free four-star character today. I never thought that there would be a mini game of sorts where you just have to avoid someone's family. It sounds like the theme for this Lantern Reed event is not actually kites, but rather family therapy. Are we supposed to know who Shuyu is? I don't think I've ever seen that name before. Let's see which of the actual mini games we're able to do here. You know, as much fun as it is to run away from Gaming's family and all, I'd rather try the other mini games. So the first one is it, uh, control the Guoba gather ingredients the game. I mean, usually I would compare it to something else, but I don't really know what this would compare to. Well, that difficulty ramped up quickly, but that is all of them, which means already one mini game is completely done. I take it back. It's just time gated. Uh oh. Is this a co op mini game? As in, I can't do this because we're locked out of co-op guess we gotta go see what the last mini game is because that's the only other one that i can do right now oh i forgot that they always do one of these events where you just have fireworks exploding the whole time so i take back what i said about us being able to get our free four star today we could have done it if we weren't locked out of co-op. But today, we're only going to be able to get up to 660 points out of the 800 that we need. So in 10 more hours, we'll be able to get the far star. Now, one thing we are able to do today is farm some books or whatever they are of prosperity. Because since we're going to be getting Ning Wong tomorrow, we might as well have some of the stuff to level her up a bit. Also, in a recent live stream, I was asking the chatters what they think I should put on Ning Wong as far as a weapon. Regarding what catalysts we have at our disposal right now, if we take a look, we have two eyes of perception. I was going to give Ning Wong the thrilling tales, but they voted that I should instead give her prototype Amber. So I feel bad for Ning Wong because she's just going to be turned into a pseudo healer. But considering right now we only have Noelle as a kind of healer, I guess that is probably the better option. And then I guess I could maybe just put no bless on her. That seems like it could be a decent enough idea. Over 10 hours have now passed, which means it is time to get Ning Wong. Well, as soon as I solve some of these puzzles, that is now one mini game entirely complete. So luckily for us, we can get this new Xing Cho skin that we'll never use on the account. Well, would you look at that? We have over a thousand points, which means we get to get Ning Wong. Here she is, our fifth character on the account. Welcome to the team, Ning Wong. Now, let's see just how much we can actually level her up. We ascend for the first time. We don't 
ascend for the second time. Geo hypostasis, I am on my way. Luckily, we're able to bring this thing down after only having to destroy two of the pillars, which is much better than at the beginning of this account where we had to destroy all of them twice. But now we can go ahead ascending Wong one more time. Unfortunately, I won't be able to do it again because I don't have enough resin, but the rest of the stuff we either have or could easily get. When it comes to artifacts, obviously I don't really have much. The downside of having not farmed any artifacts yet is that I can't really upgrade anything. So unfortunately, this is our Ning Wong for now. Actually, you know what? If I use one fragile resin, we can fight the boss two more times, and that would allow us to ascend Ning Wong again. So I do believe that is exactly what we're gonna do. Take down number one. Ooh, and we got a chunk. And there's take down number two, which gave us both of the things that we needed so we can ascend Ning Wong. And we bring her up to 60. And I would love to ascend her again. These have not respawned for me yet. And I don't really want to spend more fragile resin on boss drops. Not to mention we're kind of running out of Mora as well. So for the time being, we can instead level up her talents. Though only to level four. I probably will level up everyone's normal attacks as well eventually, but right now I'd rather just keep investing into the skill in the burst. We might as well also do the acquaint fates that she provided to us. And we actually do see a purple. It'd be so funny if this was another Ning Wong. Okay, nope. Already, we almost have every four-star Geo character. The only one we're missing is Goro. Actually, we have exactly 50% of all the Geo characters right now. And funnily enough, we only have the women. Though to be honest, with how strong Navia is, this account is more so a Navia-only account rather than Geo-only. Now, as you just saw, our Ning Wang is not that well built. So I really don't think she's going to be too helpful in here. However, I just want to try out the Spiral Abyss again in see if maybe we can three star floor seven because it looks like we actually did get three stars on all the previous floors now my idea is to have navia with ning wang in case she needs healing and then for the other team just, just put the rest because navia is going to be doing more damage than the entire other half of this team so far it's not too bad haven't actually had to put ning wang on the field yet still not putting her on the field you know what just just, just for the heck of it we'll use her Whoa, huge damage. You guys see that? She was hitting like 89. So now that the easy half is done, it's time to struggle. Yeah, we, we do no damage on this half. The only thing that's doing damage is the occasional shockwave from the ley line. My damage is essentially non-existent. There's still hope, but it's, it's not too good looking all right all right shockwave killed that guy oh boy can i have more shockwaves please more shockwaves please okay um 14 seconds maybe we can do it oh it's so close it's so close we come on yes three stars on the first chamber does that mean we're getting three stars on all of them absolutely not shielded enemies other than the geo shield geo shield is completely fine for us but the rest of these are very annoying so let's save all of our bullets we'll run over to this guy and then pop Oh, 74k. Pop, 40k. What can I say? This side is just so easy. I wish I could have two Navias on this account. Come on, before the shield. Before the shield. No, no. Okay, it's, uh, it's okay. Just take them down. There we go. Now, I don't really care about your shield at all. That guy's gone. Um, okay. Try and do whatever damage. Oh, that was actually better damage than I expected. Unless that shockwave procced because that could very well be what happened. Oh, yeah, that shockwave is doing big damage. Last chamber, 20% attack. Let's go. Navia, carry us to victory. Oh my. Whoa. She just tore through them. All right. We got two minutes to take out this one guy. As long as we can get one or two of these shockwaves to proc, that should be plenty. Sorry, sir. I want my primos. Floor seven. Not too bad. Only one more floor until we get to the floors that actually change each row. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's... It's shields. I do not think we have enough DPS for this. Navia should be fine, but the other side is going to absolutely suck. So you know what? We're going to put Navia completely alone and then everybody else on this team. And to be honest, I still don't think that's going to be enough. Okay, only two opponents. Let's see what we can do here. First half, not terrible. I think the best idea is to try and lure them together over here. Um, 
Didn't quite work. We also need to be a little careful about dodging because we have no heals. However, we do have shields. Granted, they're not the strongest of shields. Yeah, these shields are, they're really bad. Health is not looking so good, but we still got three stars. I'm probably going to have to take a healing card at some point. Chamber two, what you got for us? Oh, this is when you really want pyro, right? Yeah, funny story about that. I actually don't have pyro on this team. Believe it or not, we only have Geo. Please kill the Hillichurl. I don't know why he was so tanky. Ooh, we have to be very, very careful about not getting hit by things we don't need to get hit by. Because the health department ain't looking so good today. Okay, big bullet. Bada boom. Wow, we do no damage with these shields. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's still more damage than the other side. But compared to enemies that don't have those big shields, we're not doing too much. Here's the question, though. Can I dodge well enough where Navia doesn't need to be healed? Um, you know, I'm gonna risk it. We only have to end with over three minutes left. So that means we can waste seven minutes. Oh, and this side actually can hit the core. For some reason, I was thinking we wouldn't be able to damage it at all. Okay, wait, this is gonna be easier than I thought then. I was under the impression we were just gonna have to kill it through the shield. Okay, yeah, this this is fine. First half only took just over one minute. So, oh my gosh, we, we are so quick. Here we go. Side number two. Just gotta make sure we're dodging and we're weaving. As if we get hit with no shield, it's gonna be lights out. Ooh, for Navia. She really is just a one woman army. What's so funny is we just broke the shield. That whole Oh, I just got an achievement. Why am I getting so many achievements? So floors one through eight are all three starred. I am not going to touch nine through 12 right now. Now I got to see what all those achievements were. We defeated Power Rangers Fine without destroy. Oh, so we never destroyed the core. Then we also paralyzed a Cryo Regis Fine by attacking its Corolla. And then we cleared floor eight and we got all of the stars. Not too shabby. Now that we accomplished such an amazing feat on this account, let's talk about something that we can't accomplish. As I'm sure you all remember, this is our next objective in the Archon Quest, and we literally cannot do it with only Geo characters. I've been giving it some time trying to figure out if there's any possible solutions, and so far, no. So I'm not going to do it right now, but I'm just saying we're probably going to have to cheat on that. Which, like, is it really cheating? If in the first episode I said for some parts of this game we would have to be forced to use other characters, we all knew that this was going to happen. The main reason why I'm not doing it yet besides the fact that i'm trying to hope that there's some way to do it without having to cheat in the challenge is that right after we do that there's gonna be another bit of a roadblock for us that i don't think we can get past until we maybe get albedo and i mean we're gonna be trying to get albedo for sure but it's a maybe as to whether he can help us with the thing that we're gonna need help with so since i won't be able to finish the archon quest without him either i hope i'm not in too much of a hurry to cheat in the challenge however it does then introduce the question of after lantern read what do we do i mean obviously i'll go through and keep strengthening up our characters and then we'll prepare for chiori whenever she's gonna come out but outside of that where's the content if i don't cheat which is so ironic that i have to cheat to have content on the challenge account but if we don't finish the leeway arc on quest we can't do chasm if we don't do chasm we can't do sumeru we don't do sumeru we can't do fontaine also if we don't finish the leeway we can't do anything in inazuma and i think the goal of this account obviously is to try to do everything with geo only but there are points in this game where we are forced to use things besides geo so i think our real goal should just be to see how much of the game we can do with only geo and of course as a very last resort we can swap the traveler over to animo or some other element to help Help us. Ooh, 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 ooh. I did just see that we can... That uh, that reminded me of a lot of stuff, actually. The first thing is we can ascend Hazo for the first time to get our free acquaint bait. Second thing is I should probably start farming these. Let's see if we can maybe get two back-to-back -back four stars. No, I really didn't think so. I like to make it sound nice and hopeful, though. So if it does happen, I can get very excited. <laughs> Wait a minute. It's happening again. It's another video with beetle-related content. How does the game keep getting away with this? But you know what? If I'm gonna bore myself farming beetles, I'm taking you guys down with me. So I'm going to wait until my next live stream and farm all the beetles then. I hope you still enjoyed, and as always, I will see you all next time.